Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this super cute DIY nail room decor. Um, when I started doing this, I had no idea what I was going to do like in the beginning of the, video, of the video, but it came out super cute and it's super, super different and unique. So if you like stuff like this, super like girly and glamorous type of stuff, like you're definitely going to like this and it's really, really easy to do honestly. So if you would like to see it, then let's get started. Okay, you guys, so right here we're starting out with one um, of these canvases. I did actually, I was like talking through the video when I was filming it, but honestly, I feel like I didn't explain things as well as I like right now when I'm thinking back, I'm like, oh, I should have said that and that and that. So I'm just going to voice over it for you guys and it's way easier for me too because um, I actually prefer when I do like... When basically when I'm explaining things better anyways, so I'm going to be um, using these canvases and right here I was saying that I'm going to show you guys some nail art that I've done or not nail art um, canvases that I've painted So I've painted all of these three and I have my whole nail room um, Decorated in a bunch of canvases that I've painted. I did that one that says life's too short for boring nails So it's super cute and basically um, I was just telling you guys to ignore my mess on my table and um so basically i'm showing you guys this canvas i got this from michael's and i am going to be using a bunch of different nail polishes and stuff i'm also showing you guys this um canvas that i painted right here this one i hand painted also and basically i don't know what i was showing you guys for i just wanted to show you guys but anyways um i was saying that i like to paint and stuff when i'm stressed out and i think it's really cute for you to diy your own um decor for your little nail space or wherever you like to do your nails at um even if it's just a corner of your room it's really cute for you to decorate it and so that way like every time you sit down at your desk you're like motivated to you know create some beautiful stuff no matter what it is that you do so anyways i was saying that i got this at michael's and um there's always like coupons and stuff at michael's and I was showing you guys that the nail polishes I'm going to be using are just like a bunch of different ones that I've had. So if you already buy D&D gel polish, then you know what I'm talking about. They come, they usually come in um, like packs of gel and regular polish. And the regular polish is the one I'm going to be using for two colors. But I also got some from Dollar Tree as well, which are some colors that I'm going to be using. Um, I'm basically mixing a few. So I highly recommend going to your local Dollar Tree. Um, right here I was showing you guys the canvases on Michaels. It's a 10 count for $10.99. So like almost a dollar something each canvas or less than a dollar. So um, those are the polishes I got from the Dollar Tree. They have so many cute colors. You can literally get so many and like decorate it however you want. And basically use colors that go with your room or your vibe or whatever you think you would like most. I ended up going for more of a pink. I didn't end up using this blue. But I was also just explaining here how I'm using the ones that came in my duo pack because I have so many that um, I don't even use. So I was also saying that um, I don't want to like waste them. But um, this is like some people would say this is like wasteful because I am going to be dumping them out like onto the canvas. It's going to give like a splattered look like it like naturally spilled. But it's super super cute and if you want to spare like two of your polishes or just buy some from the Dollar Tree it's super easy. Um, I honestly would say just ignore this part of the Mod Podge thing. I've never used it, but honestly, I got scared at the end and I didn't end up using it because I didn't know if it was going to alter the colors at all. Um, another thing I want to say is before you get started, make sure that you have a mask on because the polish for me was like kind of strong because I'm like dumping it all out. So yeah, just don't like in inhale it, I guess. Um, I was also saying that you can get this little thing from Michaels you can use a coupon usually Michaels has like 50% off or um 40% off like any regular price item I was also showing you guys that I got this big one from there recently and I used a coupon as well you just search up Michaels coupons on um Safari and some will come up and basically that's what you're going to be needing for this tutorial is like a hot glue gun some nail polishes any colors that you want like I said check out your local Dollar Tree and you'll definitely find some they also have some little mini canvases at Dollar Tree as well if you wanted to make a minier version of this because this canvas was not big. It was definitely a mini canvas, but um, I think the ones I saw at Dollar Tree are just a tiny bit smaller. So it's just up to you and whatever size you would want to go for. But if you wanted to use the same one as me, I highly recommend Michael's because that's where I got mine. 
and basically sorry i was like talking so fast right there because i was trying to make sure i got all the information in so we're gonna basically be, be getting started so i'm gonna be gluing them like this i was kind of showing you guys in the video i'm just kind of setting them up how i think they would look cute i'm gonna definitely be using the glitter ones and stuff if your polishes come with any type of stickers be sure to remove them if you don't want the stickers to show just like i'm doing here and yeah so i got a bunch of different ones they had really cute colors like so many at dollar tree i was literally in shock like wow there's like so many options to choose from sorry about that um there's so many options to choose from and basically yeah so i highly recommend you go there they also have some paintbrushes and stuff in the little arts and crafts section and um if you wanted to use a paintbrush for like whatever reason you could too but basically what I'm going to be doing now, I was just waiting for my heat gun, my heat gun to heat up. I'm going to be opening them up and I didn't really know how to go about this. Honestly, I was really scared. Also, I was going to say be sure to put um this little like I put like a tiny those mini like trash can bags underneath just so that I don't get anything dirty and it worked out really well because it really made an easy cleanup. See right there what I did was I just put a whole bunch of hot glue and I sticked it on to where I wanted it um, and I left it open so that it can drip and then I'm just going to be repeating that with the rest of the colors that I wanted to use and I kind of wanted to alternate them I didn't want them all facing the same way. Um, something I will say as well is that um, depending on the type of polish you're using as you can see the light pink one was like way more runny like it was so watery that it was spilling out like so fast and I was kind of getting scared here I was like oh my gosh it might not like go the way that I want it to go but everything ended up looking really cute I just had to really work with it um, move your canvas around and kind of play with it go whichever way you think you would like it to go again I'm gonna be placing a whole bunch of hot glue right here and then I'm going to be sticking my little bottle on there and letting this glittery one come out. And this was like my favorite part was like the glitter ones because it really added onto the canvas and made it look super cute. Um, like me personally, I'm super extra. Like I will literally do the most. So um, I literally wanted glitter. I wanted it like rhinestones, everything on there, which later on you'll see that I do end up adding rhinestones and a bunch of stuff. But that part is completely 1000% optional. Um, I only end up doing that because I have so many extra huge huge gems and rhinestones and stuff that I had been get, like That I had got off of Aliexpress like over a year or two ago um, And I had got them on accident because I didn't read the measurements and I thought that they could be used for nails I mean they still could but anyways, I'll get that I'll get to that part later so right here I'm basically just letting them jump out and I'm gonna just be letting them flow and maneuvering it the way that I think it should go and it's going to be kind of messy so I do highly recommend you put something underneath you and I'm kind of using the little um brush because I kind of wanted to put the brushes on there as well I wanted to use that use them as well and put them to use it's just so that it's not the bottles only so yeah and then I'll come back in a bit Hey you guys, so right here I noticed that the silver glitter I had applied was kind of like disappearing and it made me so sad because that was like my favorite one. The hot pink kind of just like took over everything and so did the other the other like glittery gold color that I had on the right side and I really wanted like light pink and that silver glitter to show so I did end up having an extra silver glitter regular polish. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that already. Um, these aren't gel. These are just regular nail polishes but um yeah i just grabbed some of that uh, extra um glittery one that i have which is this one right here and i'm dumping it over this bottle right here 
just to make it look like it's spilling out of the same one because at this moment I didn't realize that I wanted to add that bottle. I think I ended up gluing that bottle on there as well but I didn't realize that in the moment I was like just using it for the color and I was just going to save whatever was left in the bottle um, but I do end up adding it as well. So I was just letting you know that that's what I did here. So just make sure you're maneuvering it really well and kind of moving the canvas around so that the colors are kind of evenly distributed um, around the canvas. I think what I what I did wrong was I was like laying the canvas too flat so all the colors were kind of like mixing into each other too much. I think if I had the canvas laying straight up like if it was like flat on a wall then it would have honestly like they would have went straight down the canvas perfectly and you would have been, been able to see all the colors so um that's that is one tip i would give you right here i'm grabbing all of the extra polish that slipped off the canvas basically what was going to go to waste and i'm kind of just adding it to the side to add a little bit more pink because i wanted more of that lighter pink to show so i do grab i do grab it with just this little um the little paintbrush from one of the bottles and then i'm just going to be kind of adding it on there randomly because yeah like I said the light pink kind of got lost with all the other colors so that's what I'm doing here so right here I was a little tiny bit out of frame but I do fix it right now I'm just grabbing my hot glue gun and adding some more glue because I'm gonna be adding one of the brushes so I'm gonna be adding this gold one first um, and if if you could see there's like um, nail polish stuck on the outside what I end up doing is taking a little bit of acetone at this point the polish was a little dry so I had to use acetone but if your polish is still wet you can wipe it off with a little bit of alcohol um, but I used acetone to clean it off because I wanted it to um, I basically just like got it dirty on accident so I'm wiping that off with a paper towel and then I'm kind of making it look like the pink color came from that little brush right there um, it's honestly all in the detail like I really put a lot of thought into it even though it looks like it's just like a mess you know what I mean <laughs> so then I think what I'm gonna do after this is I'm gonna be adding more of the little brushes to the right side of the canvas and yeah Okay guys, so now I added the silver bottle and the little silver brush onto the side. So what I'm doing here is I'm taking my hot glue gun and I'm filling the insides of the bottles. Basically what I did was I only filled this one because I realized that they were still a little bit wet. So what I do later is um, when they when this thing's like been drying for a few hours, I go back in and I fill the insides. Basically just so that no leftover polish gets like out and it basically like preserves it from the inside i don't know if that makes sense i don't know what my mindset was but i think it's smart <laughs> from what i like from how it is in my head so yeah that's what i'm gonna be doing after all the polish is cleared out i just go in and i'm gonna be filling it but that's later on um and then right now i'm just adding another little brush right here because it looks really really cute it was like a pink one i wasn't gonna add it in but i do really like it and so i ended up doing it and then this is how it's looking. It's so, so cute. You can literally leave it as is like this. Also, if you want to, you can you could have painted the back of the canvas um, like a base color if you wanted it to be like pink, light pink or like blue or whatever color you wanted to do it. Um, they sell those little like dollar, um, I think they're like a dollar little acrylic paints at Michael's. You could have grabbed one of those and just um, got some water and a brush and done that. What I'm doing here is I am taking some of the hot glue and I'm going to be um, basically filling the parts that I feel like need to be filled with more glue so that the bottles don't fall off. I don't know if that makes sense. Basically filling in the gaps with glue to make sure that they're super super secured. And right here I was kind of like like thinking okay how should I like lay this down so that it could dry but I do end up taking this and um, drying it 
out like outside by my patio not outside I didn't want to take it outside because it could still be wet and you don't want like any dirt or leaves or anything to get stuck to it if you leave it outside so I just left it like I left my patio door open and then I left it sitting next to my patio door so that like the air can like dry it at the same time but so that it could be dry there I don't know if that makes sense but anyway now we're going to be moving to this other canvas right here um I think I'm just going to get this situated and then I'll be back Okay, so basically, um, I just wanted to fix my camera right there. That's why I took that part out. I was showing you guys these cute little nails that I did. I encapsulated those little shells and stuff. And I have a bunch of nails that I've saved over time that I've done um, basically as practice sets or for a video. I actually did this one too. And fun fact, I actually filmed those little like ocean themed nails. Um, with the little turtles inside of them and stuff, but I never uploaded it. I don't know why, but I just never did. But I did film that set. Like, um, my boyfriend had let me practice on him, and I literally did that those like nails on him. Anyways, that was a random fact. But basically, out right here, I was talking to you guys and telling you that I used these little glue tabs to try to stick these on when I tried to do this DIY the first time, and it was a complete fail because all of the nails fell off. Like, I had them on the wall for a few days, and after a few days, they just started falling off onto the floor. So, I wanted to redo this and completely just do it, like, new. So, I'm basically going to be removing every single one of these nails, and I'm going to be um, doing a different method, and I'm going to be using a different canvas this time. I'm also not going to be using these sticky tabs. Instead, I'm going to be hot gluing the nails on there. So that they can stay preserved forever and just like basically it'll become a little piece of artwork because um yeah I mean I did spend hours and hours and all all included like with every single nail that I've done on here. So I'm basically just going to take all the nails that fell off and I'm going to be placing them all together. So this is a really cute idea if you happen to have any that you saved. Um I think most nail techs are like like a lot of them that I see on TikTok and stuff they save theirs either in like a little jar or something like that you could also do that like save them in a jar but this is a really cute way for like anyone that comes to your house or if you have clients or anything like that to see them and kind of like look at your work on your wall and it's just really cute because um it's like a good conversation starter for people to be that be like oh my gosh did you paint those you know or did you make those nails or like whatever you know so yeah Okay, so basically what I was doing here was I was lining them all up basically how I thought that I wanted them to go. I was kind of just like giving an idea for the way I wanted to do them. So basically this whole first row was going to be like all of my super fun like um, girly type of nails I guess you could say. Like with rhinestones, glitter and stuff. And then I, as, as I go on, you'll see that I kind of like give them a theme. So like the next row could, will be like Halloween nails. And then the next row after that will be like the Christmas nails and stuff like that. I kind of wanted to just arrange them however. And the fun thing about this is like once you do it like once, you can always get um, another canvas. Because usually the canvases come in packs if you get them at Michael's. And then you can literally just keep making more and more canvases and put them all together on your wall like a little collage. And that'd be so cute to look at. Like, I don't know, I would love to like look at that. If I went to anyone's like house or salon or anywhere and I saw like all the nails that they had done like on a little canvas like this, I'd literally be like looking at it the whole time. I'd be like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Um, so basically here I'm just taking the hot glue and I'm just laying them down flat. I will say, um... You can 1000% do this too if you do press-ons. Like right here, I'm literally putting some of my press-ons on there and some of my acrylics. Basically just a bunch of, a mix of like a bunch of different types of nails that I've done. Um, if you're going to be doing it with your press-ons, just make sure that when you put your hot glue down that um, you wait a few seconds to stick your nail on there. Literally just a few seconds or blow on it for a bit just because you don't want it to melt your press-on because the press-ons are really thin. Um, most of the time they're really thin so um, with acrylics you don't really have to worry with my acrylic nails I literally didn't blow on it at all or anything and they were perfectly fine um, because it won't melt through the acrylic if that makes sense but 
for the press-ons it might because I think I'm gonna show you guys right now like in a bit but one of them did get completely melted and I don't know like how if all of these other press-ons that I did didn't get melted at all so it was just super weird I don't know how that happened but anyway I just wanted to let you guys know just in case you guys try this so yeah I'm basically just gonna let this part speed through just so that you guys can watch and see what I'm doing and I'll be back in a bit Okay, you guys, so I'm back. I basically wanted to just talk to you guys. Um, how are you? And I basically wanted to just, like, talk, like, randomly. <laughs> so basically, um, my day was good. I had a really bad headache because of the nail polish thing that I did before this. So that's why I told you guys to wear a mask, just to be careful. I'm usually not sensitive, which is weird. Like, I can literally smell monomer all day. And I won't get that sensitive, but recently I've been like sensitive to everything, like all the smells. So like, um, the monomer is like really strong. And then I recently like got so much stuff from Bath and Body Works because I love having those little wall plugins all over my apartment. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but they actually work. Like I never, I had never got them before. I don't know if I'm just like the only one, but I never used them. And now I have one of them in every room because it literally smells so good like when you walk in you can literally smell it and um it's, it's like amazing I really love them so I honestly like every kind of scent like what kind of scent do you guys usually like I don't know I kind of like sweet scents to be honest like during fall time and like winter I really like like those fresh baked type of scents um but I don't like anything too too strong either I don't really know but I'm not really picky either anyways so what's funny is in this next clip right here is when that nail freaking melts on me like it's literally just gonna melt in like like right before your eyes it's literally insane it's literally right here so you're gonna see me I'm like trying to like place the nail on where is it over here so I'm trying to place the nail on there and then I'm like okay I wanted to go there and then I put the hot glue just like every other nail and then like for some reason it literally melts like look at it it literally just melted and every single other nail i put on this freaking canvas none of them melted so i have no idea why this one melted it was so freaking weird like so weird and then i kind of left it there because at that moment like while i was doing it i didn't even realize that it was melted i was just like ignoring it and then i went back to look at it and i was like wait why does it look like that and it was freaking melted so it was so weird anyway um what's like super weird is like all of those were press-ons like all of those halloween and christmas nails those are all like press-on nails so i don't know why that one would melt and none of the other ones did anyways but that's why i wanted to tell you guys like if you're gonna do this with your press-on nails to just be careful but if you guys don't already save your nails you really should it's like really it's a really cute idea especially if you do them um to take like pictures for your instagram or something and then you pop them off right after I really don't think it's like nasty in any way or anything to like save them like it's actually like little works of art that you literally made so um you should like keep them and showcase them and show everyone how talented you are especially if you're doing like all kinds of cool designs and stuff so um yeah basically I'm just doing this and honestly after you're done with this canvas you can literally leave it like this to just um put your nails on display but I do end up going in and like putting a bunch of rhinestones as you can see from the beginning of the video. I'm like so freaking extra. But in this moment I wasn't even thinking about doing that. I never even like thought about it. But then I saw some of my extra rhinestones that I had and like those big huge nail charms. And I was like oh my gosh this is the perfect time to put them to use. And put a cute little border around this freaking canvas. So I think that's what I end up doing after this. But yeah we'll see.
Okay, you guys, so right here I was kind of just showing you all the nails and what they all looked like together. And they're super cute. So basically in this part of the video, I was just showing you because you can totally leave it like this if you wanted to. But you're going to see here I start taking out a bunch of nail charms and nail rhinestones. So believe it or not, these absolutely stunning huge rhinestones, I got these from AliExpress like so long ago. Because I thought they were for nails. Like, when, like before I knew how to shop on AliExpress, I didn't know like what they sold on there and stuff. I know that's kind of naive, but like I really didn't. Like I literally thought that they like sold nail stuff and like a bunch of weird things. But like these rhinestones are so big because I think they're meant to be embellished onto clothing because they have like clasps and stuff. But they're so beautiful and I really wanted to put them to use because I've always wanted to just keep them. Um, and I did, I am going to be linking so many of different rhinestones down below. Basically almost every single type of little charm like these that I used, everything down below. I'm going to be linking um, little charms from Amazon and all of my ones from AliExpress as well. Um, right here you can see I'm taking out a bunch of different little charms that I have. Some of them are really big, again, because when I bought them I literally thought they were good for nails, but I didn't know that they aren't. So they're kind of big, even though I still use them on my nails, some of them are too big and they're kind of like um, too much of like a 3D charm for me to be able to like function with them on. So I'm basically taking out a bunch of stuff and you're going to see what I'm going to do in a second. I'm basically going to be adding a little border around this whole entire canvas and it's going to be so cute. Like I literally think it's so cute, even though it's so extra and like you literally don't need to do this at all. It's perfectly fine the way it was. But it's just so cute. I don't know. It's just so unique. I've never seen anyone do any canvases like this before in my entire life. Like this is something that I've never seen before. So it's really cool to be able to um, show you guys and have you guys also replicate it. And if you happen to like replicate anything of mine, like even if it's a design or if it's um, like this little um, nail stuff. What am I saying? Um... I completely just blanked out right now um anyways if you happen to replicate like any of these canvas things literally tag me on your instagram so i can see it i would love to see your guys's stuff especially if you already save your nails this is like gonna be amazing because you can literally showcase them but anyway so now i think i'm fixing the camera because i'm gonna be showing you guys what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna just put them all together and i have no specific pattern that i want to do or anything like that i'm literally just gonna completely go for it and do it randomly so i'm gonna be putting my glue and then gluing them on there Okay, you guys so this is what the canvas ended up looking like with the little border it's literally so cute and fun to look at like I love this 
just whole va vibe that I'm just giving here. Like it's so cute. And I think right here what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this one. And what I was trying to do was I was going to add like Mod Podge on it. But I didn't end up doing that because I was like scared. I've never used Mod Podge before but I didn't know if it dries clear or not. Um, leave a comment down below if you know if it does. It didn't say on the bottle at all. So I really wasn't sure. I was also, touch also touching it making sure that it was um, dry enough. Because at this point it had already been a few hours. I didn't spend hours doing that other canvas. It was just that I had like skipped a break in between because I went to eat lunch and stuff. So that's why it um, was drying for a few hours already. And now what I'm going to be doing is I'm literally going to be filling this whole entire thing. So if you want to just cut the video here because this part's like so unnecessary, you totally could. But I am going to leave this little time lapse in of me filling it up because I think it's pretty cool and how I just like throw the stuff on there and everything. So that's what I'm going to be doing and then kind of just like showing you guys how I did that and then at the end showing you guys the finished result for everything. Okay you guys, so right here is where I grab the hot glue gun and fill the insides of the little bottles once they have already been drying for a few hours. This actually unintentionally added a really cool effect because the hot glue kind of spilled out and it literally looks like the nail polish dried like spilling out of the bottle and it's so cute and I didn't even like try to do that. It literally just did that because it was like spilling out on its own and I really love the effect. You can kind of see it there on those two pink bottles. You can see that it looks like it's like spilling already and it's like so cool because I didn't even try to do that. But yeah, so that's what I tried to do because I wanted to seal them from the inside. One, so that the smell doesn't keep coming out of the bottles and then two, just so that the inside just stays like dried up like that. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, and then yeah, I'm just going to be adding a few finish finishing touches and then we're pretty much going to be done. Okay, you guys, so we're finally finished with both canvases. I absolutely loved how they came out. They're so, so cute. This is a video of them in low light, so you can see how sparkly everything is. It's super glamorous, super cute and girly, and totally my vibe. Um, so this is what they look like from far away, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and give a like, and I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye!